hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be learning how to make fish soup mm -hmm. so right now i'm just crushing some pimento seed um i know a lot of people call um or allspice um seeds and i'm going to be just crushing some garlic too and i'm just going to be putting these in the pot and bring it to a boil but first let's just mix um, everything in want to get as much flavor in our soup so <laughs> we want to boil some garlic and pimento seed first so these are the other things i'm going to be putting in i have pumpkin yuca i have carrot yam i also have potato and um celery so the pot is already boiling so now we're just going to be adding um everything else that i just showed you guys into the pot so i'm going in with my carrots first they're all like mixed up because i did put some put them in water um when i did cut it up so it stays fresh it wasn't it wouldn't turn color or anything like that or look like it's going bad so i normally put it in water first to let it sit and we're just going to mix this and we're just going to let it boil just like we just let the garlic and pimento seed just boil and now we're going in with the yuca so i added the carrots and um the potato and celery first because those take a longer time to boil so things that take a longer time to boil you normally pretty much add them first and then everything else come afterwards so the pot is boiling right now so now i'm going to be adding some thyme and i'm going to be adding some okra Now I'm going to be adding some soup mix. I'm using the pumpkin. So if anyone that's vegetarian, pescatarian, um, this is a good um, soup you guys can make for yourself. Now I'm going in with the fish and I'm using the salmon head fish. You guys can use different fish, um, but that's the fish I had um, in the house. So that's why I use that one. And we're just going to be mixing this and let it boil. There's different steps, but it's not that bad and it's not that long. So this will be good, especially if you never made soup before. This is good. So I didn't show you guys um, how I made these dumplings, but if you guys want a video on how I make dumplings to put into my pot, um, I can show a video on that. Just comment below. You guys don't have to add dumplings if you guys don't like dumplings in your soup. That's also another reason why I didn't show a video of me having dumplings. But look how good it's already starting to look. Everything is coming to a boil, like all the flavors. Everything is just in the pot. But look at it, guys. It's starting to look like actual soup or Caribbean soup, like fish soup. <laughs> um... So now we're just going to do a taste test, always do a taste test to see if you want to add any more seasoning, if you want to add anything to your pot. Um, yeah, so add whatever you feel free afterwards, but boil it first and then add after. Don't add too much and then it becomes salty. It doesn't come out good, but take your time with it. Better to have less and add after. So now I'm just pretty much sharing out some of the soup so you guys can see um the result of it how it came out and this is how it looks a regular soup if they taste good um you guys should try especially in the winter especially if you guys are sick like i said if you're a vegetarian and you don't eat like chicken soup and things like that this is um good for you guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You no, know, don't forget to subscribe. 